Welcome back to the biggest show on the internet about Bitcoin, your favorite coin, right? Nah, just kidding. One of the small show. But it is worth it. Today we're talking about Bitcoin, about daily chart. So taking a short approach about what is happening. Is it ugly? Is it pretty? It's been a while and it's been a while since we had this black berg ground. So what do you think about it? I found it deliberating for change. But enough about me and my background, let's talk about Bitcoin. This is a very zoomed in approach on the daily chart. So let's begin what I wanted to show you. We are barely holding floor at 25,757. There you go. You can see how the candles are literally lying down on this important support. And we did flirt pretty much a few days here on this occasion. Now this is not looking very exciting or even hopeful for a few reasons. It looks like it's gonna break lower and then maybe reject to the upside. What I'm referring to is this $26,000 in the short term very important level although when you zoom out you don't see this level but that's why I zoomed in. You see here we had the situation as we have here. We were lying with the candles with those bodies very hard on it. Now, on this attempt, trying to glue off, we failed. And now we moved just a ladder down. Not to say that the last few days, this was our ceiling. So now we're just hovering below two lines of resistance and support. Will this break to the downside? There is a high probability of that. Because as you can see, those attempts like here or here, we were having yesterday that one. This candle tried to break above it, but nope. Back to the range. This is that micro analysis that unfortunately is showing me versions. So if we analyze like this, there is no bullish narrative alive. And not just that, keep in mind that a move like this is very bearish. Now this is on the 29th of August when Bitcoin pumped to the upside to $28,000 and it was very exciting. People thought we found the bottom. Not only that we get back all of it, but gone lower just after two days. So again, one warning sign in the short term for Bitcoin. Today we're talking short term, long term it would be a different picture, but let's discuss that in another video. This, just looking at those candles and points of support and resistance is very weak price action. Okay, now let's raise this and uh, let's zoom out to show you why bearishness is still alive. Now you see, this was a very important, at least in my opinion, trend line that was propelling us on the higher grounds. Here we lost it. And this kind of price action, this waterfall cannot go, well, let's say unpunished. Now, believe me, I am a Bitcoin bull more than you can imagine but we gotta respect the facts in the charts and we gotta say that something like this could give us a trouble and yes we could have a few bounces to the upside and still be in bearish narrative so i talked about this in my previous video our best case scenario for now is just sideways moving price action of bitcoin nothing fancy to the upside i think bitcoin is about to bore us to death in the next couple of weeks so that everybody that is expecting something go out and then he will try to rejuvenate to go into a new cycle just when you think it is over so as i said even if we get a bounce to the high rounds almost to the top of this range we can touch this resistance line and still be in that sideways moving price action so if you are expecting something a little revolutionary hold your horses now again, I want to zoom in and go in another direction. And that direction will be Fibonacci retracements. I mean, nothing will show us anything different than what I just said with some other analysis tools. But it's always good to view from different angles, right? Okay, now what I am talking about is this, this move I wanted to take into consideration for a Fibonacci. Now, since that peak we were in a downward trajectory. Remember, Fibonacci 
right now is giving us those levels and practically every level, not practically, but every 23, 38, 50, 61, 78, 6 is broken. The default of this kind of price action is to just return to the beginning of the 100% where it all started and it all started at around 24,854. So is it possible that we go to 24,854? It's not just possible, it's probable because I want you to see one more level and that is 78.6%. Can you spot it? Can you spot what is doing to the price? It's pushing it down. It's giving us so much resistance even today. Even today, ladies and gentlemen, this level. Oh yeah, what is this level? 26,183. Pushing us down. I told you, the level set 26,000 is a big problem at this moment. So just above it, 26,183, pushing us down according to Fibonacci. This kind of analysis again is showing us that the downward spiraler may be still alive. What should you expect? This level. And not think that it's something that won't happen. It's a possibility. Okay, that can be reverted if we break level of 17.6% retracement above $26,000, find clear support and we can discuss different matters. Now I will erase this and for the final touch and my final verdict, put my favorite band into play, the moving average and exponential moving average band that is showing you clear direction for the coming days. Ladies and gentlemen, the yellow line is EMA and the blue line is MA. EMA is always faster than the moving average. 21 days I'm talking about. It's the default that I will be using from now on because every, let's say, time frame can focus on 21 moving average. No need for lower or higher. That's my opinion. Now, why is moving average showing us or this band bearishness? How about this rejection here? Or just how about this rejection now, today? Clear resistance by the band. And until we break it, again, not very bullish. Let's say that the first stepping stone of that band is at 26,150 fear. Again, that level comes into play. Until Bitcoin can go above that level, it will stay bearish, no questions asked. When that happen in the short term, then things will start to move in the opposite direction. For now, Bitcoin is bearish. Oh, but if you are a bull, look at this. This is what I like to use. Let me remove this to show you something. When we have a yellow line below the blue line, that is the clear bearishness that is not giving us any hope. But at this moment, we do have yellow line above the blue line. This kind of setup could indicate that Bitcoin is about to change his mind in the coming days or weeks. Maybe this faster alignment, or let's call it a bullish alignment, will call for something higher. But maybe first we need that, well, you know, crash before the boom. Well, I don't know the scenario, but maybe first a sell-off and then climb above that bend. Maybe that is the narrative. It could be. And if you don't believe, which absolutely you should, that this band is super powerful, let me show you. If we zoom out and out and out all the way, this is enough. We didn't get bearish here or here or here. Ladies and gentlemen, the price of Bitcoin was having problems right here with this band. And here we were having a clear announcement that things will go south eventually. Lower, 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 below, below, trying to go above it, but nope, very, very soon below it. So this band is powerful. If you, for example, wanted to exit out of this candle and thought, nah, let me save my money. This is not looking healthy. You can see how big of a waterfall you would dodge, dodge the bullet. And uh, by the way, you can see what is happening. Let me mark it for you. When the yellow is about the blue and how the price is reacting in that instances. The time will come again. As I said, we are having yellow above the blue right now. Maybe that is the early, really early. That doesn't mean that we can go lower. Acknowledgement of 
Bitcoin's recovery. For now, your job has two visions. Stay bearish until proven otherwise and watch my next video when it comes out. Let's roar. Thank <laughs> you.